I am going to show you how to edit the styling on the Simple Pull Quote plugin. Uh, it's very basic. By default, it's a lot of gray and black. But let's say you wanted to, for example, change the width. Um, I'm using the Chrome Inspector here, but you could use Firefox or Safari. Um, and you see the width is set to 200 pixels. <clears throat> if I want to set that to, let's say, 40%, you can see that. Let's just increase it. So it's just using standard styles. Let's say we wanted to make it 60% of the width. I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to go ahead and go to the theme editor. So I go under appearance editor. This is not the best way to edit a theme, but it is one way. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and type body and then space dot simple pull quote and then the brackets and then the width. Um, this is pretty basic CSS stuff. So if, if this is over your head, you might want to just do some Googling on CSS and how to write CSS. If you don't put the body tag in there, it won't style it properly. So you need to make sure you put body. You could use any, um, for those who are well-versed in CSS, any more specific class will make it work. But I just use body because it's a default. So body that simple pull quote width equals 30%. Oh, actually, we wanted to make it 60%. So I'm going to go ahead and update that to 60. Update file. Come over here, refresh. And so now this is 60%, and all the other quotes on this page are 60% too as well. Let's say we wanted to change the font color. And so right now it's this 868, or the borders are that. The color, color isn't even defined in the pull quote. So let's just add a color. We're just going to add it here. We're going to say color. Um, what if we just do gray? I'm just going to do that. Let's just copy this. Go back to the uh, appearance editor and make sure we're editing style.css. I'm just going to add color gray right here. Whoops, I messed up. Color gray. Update. Refresh. And now all my pull quotes are gray. Um, now you can edit all of these styles. For example, let's say you wanted the border to be um, a different color. Let's call it red. You could do that. And you could just, again, let's say we wanted it red. Um, I'm just going to copy these styles, put them into this right here. And you don't need these tabs, but I always add just to keep the code clean. Refresh here, and now uh, those will be that color. To change the quote, the quote is currently an image. So to change the quote color, you would actually need uh, a new image in there. Um, so that's just FYI, you would need to create that in Photoshop. Um, you can change the padding, indention, etc., etc., etc. So that's how you do it. If you have, uh, let me know if you have any questions via the forum.